Alright, so what if I told you this was done entirely in Canva? Would you believe me? Check it out. And look, everything was actually done in Canva. No additional software required. And if you want to be able to create this, all I just have to say, don't go anywhere. I should be right back. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, I think subscribing to this channel would be fantabulous. So if you're an OG, look, massive respect. I really have something fresh for you today. So without any further ado, I think we should just get straight into Canva and let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Canva and this is the animation I created. So you can see how it's looking very, very beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty true. That's true and yeah, that's true. It took me about 30 minutes to create this, but I'll try to make this shorter for you, okay? God bless you. Thank you for the words so sweet. So let's do this i would come into my home come in to create a design and all we are going to choose is video so make sure everything is loaded up before you start clicking things around okay so what we are going to first of all do is to change our background color so we'll just choose maybe um a cool color like this okay come into colors and i just want a lighter version of this color so i'd come to add a new color and this should help me to customize the color so i think something like this is good for the start okay press t on your keyboard for text and you can just say anything at all you want to so i'll just see some beautiful no i'll just say mem no, no no let me just say long lasting memories okay so this is what i want to say and i'll just place it at the top over here and i can come to my font i can change this to popinza okay but you can also use any font at all of your choice so i'll just use poppins for this uh, let's see poppins okay i think i like this one instead now we have been able to set our background up if you want you can make it fancy by adding some circles and things around but look let's just try to keep this simple what we are going to do next is we are going to be creating the frames okay so i'm going to create the first frame and just follow what i'm doing okay so so what i'll do is i'll press r on my keyboard for a square shape i'll increase it like this and position it somewhere here what i'll need to do is to change the color to white okay then come into photos okay and in photos i'm just going to search for love okay so instead of you can use any idea at all of your choice you know the first one i used an african vibe but this time around i'm going to use maybe love and things like that okay so i'll say couples okay so very sweet and i'll position it here okay just make sure everything is looking very sweet okay so yeah make sure it's aligned properly and evenly okay and if you want to make sure everything is aligned properly and evenly what you can do is you can select the shape come to position and choose middle it's already centered okay so we do the same for this center and middle and you can see it's in properly okay then after we do that i'll just drop this down okay and i'll add some shadow so with the shadow what you can do is you can go to the element the african and search for shadows you should see the shadow i am about to use so i'll come into my app Loads, okay and what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to look for this shadow element i have i know there are so many elements i have uploaded there some of them i feel i should delete and i did delete a lot of them recently yeah so this is the shadow you can see so many shadows and how to use it is you can just crop and choose any shadow of your choice i'll position this over here and increase the size to something like this you can see what we have right then i would just move this you know, just move it up or what is happening if you're facing the same issue make sure you just are using the arrow keys okay and i'll send it to the back select all of this and group them okay this is what happens sometimes okay so the reason why we didn't use a frame you know a photo frame is that when i was using the photo frame i couldn't group the shape plus the photo frame okay that's why i'm using the actual photo so yeah and just in case you don't know what the photo frame is this are the frames okay so yeah so we have this image uh, you know here at the moment and what we are simply going to do is we are just going to you know click on this triple icon over here dot icon triple dot icon not triple icon and i'll just choose duplicate okay so once i choose duplicate i can just select it and duplicate it then i can you know rotate it smoothly like you know something simple and i'll come back into my photos okay and choose more stuff so i can choose this one okay then duplicate again and we can also duplicate the frame so once you duplicate the page you also duplicate the frame right so that's what we are doing at the moment 
and let me just search for love couple okay so you can see there's so many love oh love is such a beautiful thing especially if you find the right person you know so i'll choose this and it's so sweet yes. and i know some of you be wondering a single guy talking about love is such a beautiful thing what has he actually seen <laughs> i don't know what i've seen look and i made a mistake okay so i will duplicate the page first come to my people actually made a mistake so don't think uh -huh. so this is one two three and this is the fourth image okay then i will duplicate it again okay once i duplicate i'll duplicate the entire frame again rotate it slightly maybe bring it here a little bit and choose you know something else okay so something like this we will just duplicate the page again okay then i also duplicate this frame also and i will position it somewhere here and i can choose another photo so i think this is beautiful now double click okay yeah double click and bring it down over here then click on done so you can see what we have at the moment so now we've been able to create our frames but what one thing i would actually want us to do sorry for the chicken in the background there was a comment i saw from one person i've forgotten the name but um you know i think he was saying that he loves the chicken sounds in the background what? it's actually annoying sometimes but you know if you love it i'll just leave it so what we are going to do is we are now going to add some a little bit of like advanced stuff to our video okay and what we'll do we'll change the color of the background of each page okay so the first one is the blue i'll come the second one i will come to color and i'll just change the color to any color at all so i'll choose this come to the third page you know the same background and you know instead of moving this part of it you just have to move this side of it okay so you can see what we are creating something very simple so you see that's why you need to be watching my tutorial because you'd always learn something new and that's actually the aim to always make sure you're learning something new all right so this is the last page and we'll do the same for that okay yeah i think this is very cool now that we've done that what we are going to do next is to animate our frames and i know this is one of the main reasons why you've been watching up to this point and look i think before i even continue i just want to tell you about canva pro just in case you're using the free version of canva i just don't want you to keep on using the free version of canva i have you know a special link in the description box below that should help you use canva pro for free okay and look canva pro comes with so many things you can have more animation features you can also upload custom fonts have multiple brand kits you can remove the background of your videos you can actually do so much more inside of canva pro and i want you to be able to do that you know so please use the link in the description box below i also want to say that now i've been made um, a verified canva creator so i'm able to create templates and upload them on canva so there's also a link in the description box below that should help you start using my free canva templates okay so now it's canva.com slash p that's there slash the african guitar so so you should be able to see that everything is in the link in, in the description box below thank you so now let's resume with uh, what we have to do all right so animating the frame so we come back to the first frame and please i really want you to pay attention to this point because you can easily be confused and i don't want you to be confused so please pay attention make sure you're following each step okay so you select this frame the first frame make sure you are selecting everything okay come to animate then we'll scroll down we should find scrapbook okay we choose scrapbook now come to the second one okay the frame is already there so you know all you need to do is to select the frame on top then choose scrapbook okay so you can see how easy it is i literally had to take my time to find a very easy process for this because when i was initially doing it it really took me a long time to figure this out okay so with the third frame okay so this is the third frame uh -huh. so what we are going to do is i will choose this frame i just have to make sure we are choosing the appropriate frame okay then we come to animate and we will also choose you know scrapbook and we come to the fourth one choose it okay so let me choose it and i'll choose scrapbook okay then come to the fit page this is very easy i'm just so surprised how i spent so much time doing this when this was a very easy process but it's all good you know i need to find the start with the hard way and now also figure how to make it easy for you all right so you can see what we've done let's play the whole thing to see how it looks okay nice okay so this is the first page and you can see it's actually taking so much time this is the second page okay 
this is the third page fourth page fifth page look so what we are simply going to do now is we would come to the duration and make it 1.0 okay and make sure you are um clicking on this toggle or whatever so to apply to all pages so when we come back this is what it should do one two three four Right. okay so let's make it 1.5 and let's see because sometimes you know it gets to lag and all that i don't know why but there's something canva will have to fix you know so it's working but the pictures just take a long time to load afterwards you get it so that's the wait this was an image behind okay then this is supposed to be a separate image okay so i will just choose this okay and yeah i think it should be oh my goodness i don't know why this is supposed to be happening i don't know why but just make sure i'm sure it's just some lagging happening inside of canva okay so because after the whole thing you see it vanishes and later adds up so i think it's just a canva thing all right so now that we've done that what we are going to do next is we are going to add our audio okay so you can just come into audio over here okay and just use any audio available in canva but um i have you know a subscription service i actually subscribe to which is atlas.io and i just subscribe because i love their audio so i would rather find an audio from there and upload in canvas so let me just show you how i usually do it there's a girl in my dm who says i'm pretty all right so oh i think i didn't even show that part so i just had to search for love okay so i just came to atlas.io and um you know logged in search for love and there are some nice audios we'll just listen to a few of them and let's see so this is the first one yeah that's love so i love this okay yeah so finally this is the one i choose big share so i'm downloading it and you can see it's actually downloading for me so i will just go back into canva all right and what i'm going to do is i have you know these uploaded sounds i also place in here and i also get them and i also got them from atlas which is like the paper sort of thing so let's see how it sounds okay you can see and this another one nice one so i would okay so i position it here and i will drag it like this select it and bring it over here okay so that in each hand so you get a whole vibe of it nice one so down the next thing i'm going to do is to copy it okay bring it here and paste now just paste this one over here okay and i'll bring my timer over here and paste it here again bring my timer over here paste it bring my timer over here paste it bring my timer over here again and paste it okay so this is how it should look nice one nice okay so i think my audio should be downloaded by now yeah so my audio is downloaded and i'm trying to let me just do it quickly i know you can't see whatever i'm doing but this is the audio i'm uploading it into canva and it should start loading for us okay now is loading quickly so i think um what we have to do now is just to add the audio in the background okay so let me just even just bring it down here and oh let's reload the page unfortunately canva ran into an error so let's reload the page okay so our audio has been added okay i just had to reload because canva ran into an issue so what we are simply going to do is i just have to drag to like the latter part of the audio okay so something like this it should some no, it should be something like this okay then let's play to see yeah i think this is very sweet nice one okay so you can see what we've been able to do the animation everything is set now we are left with the last animation to do and this is one of my favorite i never thought it was going to be possible but it was actually possible so i would duplicate this page okay and what i'm going to do is i'll add a text okay so i'll press t on my keyboard now just say love is real okay then i would increase it and maybe i can make it bold let me choose poppins i just love using poppins so i'll use a poppins extra bold okay then i'll choose it and that's another chicken okay so yeah this is what we are going to do and uh, position it here maybe we'll change the color to something i don't know which color will be prepared the best but 
um canvas should actually generate images for us. So i'll use this red okay and um yeah so i'll use this red then what i'll do is i right click come to layer then come to show layers okay then we'll just position this behind okay so you can see everything is missing so now is the interesting part what we are going to do is make sure you are selecting the entire frame come to position first of all and remove the animation from it sorry animation and you remove the animation okay because we are going to be creating custom animations this time around so now we come to animate again and, and come to create an animation okay then i'll just move this to the top over here okay and you can see it's too fast so we can reduce it like that then what we can do is once the animation is happening we can select it you know we can select the second frame and also move it downwards okay then we will reduce it you can see so just to make sure we're able to select what's behind once you move the timer the animation you know happens then you select what's also over there then you can move it anywhere you want to move it to all right then i'll reduce the speed of it as well then i use the timer to you know move things around then i can select what's behind then i can select what's behind okay and when you're selecting make sure you're selecting an area which is not selected which is visible okay so uh, i don't know what's happening so you select this and we are just going to move it around so you can see how we are now struggling to make this happen <laughs> yeah so i select it and i just have to move it around okay so i select it and move it around okay so what i'm going to do is i'll just also you know with the same trick move things around select what's behind okay then just move it around then you can see what we have then we just reduce the speed of it okay so we are just going to do this for every single one of them so i'll move this here okay and i'll just speed it you know reduce the speed okay then i'll select this one also move it here reduce the speed okay i think this is too slow so yeah then we are left to the last one we just bring it down here and reduce the speed that's so beautiful so you can see how the animation is happening then what i'll do is i'll just have to make sure my layers are happening properly okay so you can see this frame is the last one so i have to move this beneath it okay so that the animation would happen like this that's so beautiful okay so i would select my audio and maybe drag the audio more okay so that everything happens beautifully then with the last one because there's so many of the frames like spreading across we can't use as a single prepa you know we need to use an, something that sounds more realistic and i have one in my uploads okay so i'll come to my audio and just in case you are not finding an appropriate sound in canada what you can do is you can just go on google just search for paper sound okay and just search you know you get a lot of paper sound effect free ones just use any of download them and use it okay you shouldn't um face any copyright issues Eh, just be careful that's what i'm saying okay so uh -huh, so this sounds like a lot of paper so i'll just drag and drop it over here okay and let's play it and see that's beautiful okay so now let's watch and see what we have been able to create wow i think this is lovely the only thing is that you know canva just lags a little bit for this animation because when the pictures gets there you know it gets to vanish i don't know how that's something i've been trying to fix and when i find a way to fix it i should make a part two of this video and yes the name is benjamin don't forget to subscribe always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video i know you could do it all you gotta do is put your mind to it wake up i'm on to the next new day i gotta do my best Every day I put the work in, the grind never stop, you ain't never see me rest, see me on top.